Hey guys, welcome to Enchanted Moonchild Tarot. My name is Brittany and this is my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, again, welcome. And you might also notice that I have a name for the channel now. I just didn't like how it was formatted before and my Etsy shop is already called Enchanted Moonchild, so I was like, why am I not doing this on here as well? So I made that adjustment and now this channel actually has a name. <laughs> and if you're wondering where I've been at, because I haven't posted in a while, I actually started my master's and I'm going to school for speech pathology and I'm actually enjoying the journey so far, but it has been a little bit overwhelming and a huge change to my previous schedule. So I haven't had all the time in the world to film. So if you've been waiting for a new video, thank you so much for your patience and it's super appreciated. I'm going to try posting more frequently, but I am definitely very busy with my new schedule, so your patience is definitely appreciated. I also created a new Instagram account Instagram account for this channel. See, I'm going, going to school for speech therapy and I can barely talk half the time, but I'm creating, I created a new Instagram for this channel. I had my personal Instagram um, linked for a while, which I'm perfectly fine with you following me on that. Not a big deal at all. Um, but the Enchanted Moonchild Co. Instagram is going to be specifically for this channel with video updates and also posting little pick a card readings on there or daily messages doing little astrology transit summaries and stuff like that so if you want to keep up to date with everything going on then follow that account and that will be lovely so i think that's all i have to really say for now so i'll get to the point and this video will be talking about what you can expect for the month of october i already did the readings and it's very interesting because they all have similar themes so I'm very curious to see how they resonate for you. We have three different piles for you to choose from. So we have pile one that has the little ghost candle holder. We have pile two, which has the Halloween cap candle holder. And pile three, which has the jack-o'-lantern candle holder. Take the time that you need to meditate on the cards or the Halloween items and pause the video if you need to and ask spirit or the universe or whoever resonates for you what message you need to hear for the month of October and what you can expect. And once you make that decision, the timestamps will be linked in the description below so you can skip ahead. So like I said before, pause the video if you need to. I'm going to be moving on to pile one now. Hey guys, this is for those who chose pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You guys chose this cute little ghost dude right here. And he is super adorable. I really want to draw more ghosts because I'm also really into art and stuff. So I'll have an excuse because Halloween is approaching. approaching, And by approaching, I mean it's like a month away. Actually, over a month at this point, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> for this reading, we will be talking about what you can expect for the month of October. So we have this card that you selected. But we also have other cards, like tarot cards and other oracle cards that we will use to help support the message. So I'm very curious to see what pile one has to show. So let's find out. So the card that you guys got is Jade, Emotional and Physical Healing. Make sure that focuses and I think it did. Cool. <laughs> anyway. So the number represented so far is the number 37, which breaks down into 10, which then breaks down into one. So those could be significant numbers for you or significant dates. I mean, 37 probably, 37 isn't a date, but those could be just significant numbers for you. But what is being shown so far is that October is going to be a time of healing for you. And I know that's what a lot of people don't want to hear because, I mean, I know personally, if I do a reading on myself and it comes out saying, yeah, you're, you're healing right now, this is happening because you're healing, I'm just like, okay, come on, come on. <laughs> I want to get out of this point. But healing is such an essential part for our soul's growth. We have to heal 
in order to evolve and become the best authentic version of ourselves. So I think in the month of October, there is a lot of emphasis on you healing, whether it's healing stuff from your childhood or healing something recent that occurred or just in how that resonates with you. There's an emphasis on healing, maybe doing some shadow work. And that also makes a lot of sense too because um, I, I forgot up until what date it was. I think it's like mid-October. Um, up until then, Mercury is going to be in retrograde, which is a, supposed to be a very reflective time for us. And a lot of the outer planets, actually I think all of them, <laughs> Are in retrograde right now so it's a very introspective reflective time period so the healing energies make a lot of sense because i feel like everyone is sort of in that energy right now um but i'm really curious to see what other kinds of details pop up in your reading so i will um put this up here maybe if it'll stay no over here you know that works <laughs> that definitely works so I will start off with the tarot, and it's a nightmare before Christmas, so, or the theme, I mean, so that's really cool, and if you're curious about any of the decks that I use in my reading today, then um, just go to my description, and all of them will be listed, so let's get started. So, pile one, pile one, what can pile one expect for the month of October? Okay, we have the eight, five, yes, the eight of pentacles in the reverse. There we go. <laughs> okay, eight of pentacles in reverse. Pile one, what can pile one expect for the month of October? We have the Four of Pentacles, so definitely a lot of Earth energy so far. What else? Pile One. Okay. We have the Page of Candles or the Page of Wands. So, there we go. And I'll pull one more tarot card. Pile one, what can pile one expect for the month of October? Nope, too many cards. Sorry guys. I'm kind of a messy shuffler, if you couldn't tell. What can pile one expect for the month of October? We got the six of cups. Full focus. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so the element or the signs that are being represented as of now are let's see we got all the earth signs for sure so Taurus Capricorn Virgo we have um, fire Sagittarius Leo Aries and we also have water so Cancer Scorpio Pisces um, those signs could be in your chart um, Sun Moon Rising or Venus and or they could just be significant energies um, because all the signs have different kinds of energies to them so i'll start off with the tarot but with this eight of pentacles in the reverse here the eight of pentacles typically represents working hard putting in the work towards something but since it's in the reverse and along with this emotional and physical healing card i really take it as you are going to be resting for the month of October. You're really just going to allow yourself to lay low and take a break almost. It really seems like you may have been putting in a lot of work towards something. You have been putting a lot of focus and energy um, towards something. And with this page of candles here, or this page of wands, I really get the impression that you are in this burnt out energy. Like you might be entering into October feeling very burnt out. And 
this is why this emotional and physical healing is necessary, um, why you absolutely need it. So there definitely seems to be an emphasis on you just resting. And also, it might be a very introspective time period um, as well, where you're really looking inwards and um, maybe dealing with some things that you may not have wanted to deal with in the past. Um, which is not a bad thing. It's actually a great thing. We all need to do that. But you are entering into this time in October where you're making more stability within yourself. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is if you want stability in your external circumstances, and I apologize if you hear my cat wailing in the background. He, I think, is about to go into zoomy mode. That's what he does. But anyway, so oftentimes we need stability and secure, or we need to feel stable and secure on the inside in order for that to feel reflected outward. Now, I'm not saying you have to feel perfect on the inside. You don't have to feel happy all the time. I'm not trying to promote toxic positivity or whatever. But it's important to get yourself to a point of being grounded and not too in your head because oftentimes when we get too in our head that's when anxieties arise and then that tends to get um, shown to us through external forces or that our environment reflects that like for example I believe that a cluttered space creates a cluttered mind so this literally could be like you need to cleanse your space and clear your space to really alleviate your mind. I don't know why I started thinking about that, but that could resonate for some of you. Um, but it's going to be very important for you to kind of cleanse your mind, if that makes any sense, um, or just kind of organize it a little bit. I feel like there's a lot of um, energy that is all over the place. So in, in October, it might be important for you to just organize your thoughts and really organize your life, if that makes any sense. So I definitely feel like October is going to be a very organizational month for you, um, which everyone needs. Everyone needs the time to do that. Um, but it's going to also be a very restful time where you're taking care of your internal needs first. Like you're putting yourself first before other aspects of your life, which is awesome. Um, and you're really building that security and that stability within yourself so you can work towards it in your um, external circumstances. And you're really dealing with that burnout. Um, it seems like you're dealing with the burnout in a very productive way. And with this Six of Potions or the Six of Cups in the reverse here, I feel like, as I said before, a lot of this healing energy has to do with your past has to deal with something that happened to you, whether it was in childhood or like healing your inner child or um, a recent sort of event or um, recent circumstances. I feel like you are healing from those past energies. And with the reverse card here, I get the, I intuitively think you are moving on from those past energies that have been um, impacting your life negatively or who that have just been clouding your mind ultimately. So that's what I'm getting so far. Um, just a lot of healing, a lot of resting, rejuvenation, and really just putting yourself first and taking care of yourself because self-care is very important and not even in the watered down way that we see nowadays, more in a deep sort of method where you are genuinely taking care of yourself and not just doing the superficial bare minimum to care for yourself like you were it seems like you're really just doing what you need to do to help your mind so let's get another card to see what is going on in october pile one we got empowering which is the number seven and this could be a significant date for you as well or a significant number Let's see. So, yeah, I, you're definitely going into this energy of feeling empowered. You are healing and maybe even healing 
some insecurities you might have or healing or just healing in general and that healing energy is going to help you feel empowered it's going to help you really move past what is like i said before clouding your mind and you're going to start and trusting your intuition more you're going to acknowledge your own inner power and your own inner security and that's going it's ultimately you working on your confidence which I think it's awesome because I think whatever event happened in the past left you feeling very insecure or left you feeling just out of place. But I do think that through this healing, you're going to feel a lot better by the end of October. Let's pull some more cards. Let's see. So pile one, pile one in October, pile one in October. Pile one, October. Got two cards, but I will take them. So we got courage. And let's make making sure that it focuses. And we also have protection. So there is definitely, and I feel these energies as well, I think Spirit is really saying that you are being protected during this process and um, you are definitely protecting yourself during this period. And not as a way of, not like the type of protection where you're trying to protect yourself from circumstances when, you know, sometimes you just need to go through them and endure them. I'm talking about you are protecting yourself from the energies of other people who may not be serving you. You're protecting yourself from just external energies that are negatively impacting you. Like you are protecting yourself in a very productive way or in a very positive way. Um, and spirit is also protecting you during this time. Um, they are really just, they're with you during this process. And sorry if you hear my dog walking around in the background. Um, I think she's getting water. I don't know what she's doing. But anyway, you are very, very protected during this period. And your healing process is supported. You are on the right path. And you are on this journey because you're meant to be. So because you're meant to be on this journey, you're going to be very protected. And with this courage energy, you are... I think it's really spirit just saying to be persistent during this process that it does take a lot of courage to go through this process and to heal like sometimes healing is not easy it's not easy to move on it's not easy to heal from the past it is a process that you have to go through and there are there can be setbacks there can be downfalls and there are just things that have there are just things that you feel that might come up that you just don't want to deal with i understand healing is not the easiest but i think spirit is really just telling you it's okay to be courageous it's okay to be persistent and the fact that you're allowing yourself to heal during this journey is a very courageous act because it's one that many people don't want to deal with. So this is just a confirmation that you are on the right path and you're on the right journey and you are doing the right thing ultimately. So let me pull, ah, uh, here are the cards. Okay, let's pull some more cards. Pile one, what can pile one expect in the month of October? What can pile one, oh, okay, we have Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Yay. <laughs> so, I think, so this is definitely a confirmation of all the previous energies that I've been reading off of you. It really seems like um, you are really ridding yourself of the fear of healing and ridding yourself of dealing with these negative emotions and you're allowing it to you're allowing 
this process to heal you. You're allowing it to benefit you. Like, because you're actually dealing with this, you are becoming more wise in the process of healing. You are becoming a better version of yourself, which is what we should all strive to be. And I feel like you're really, this healing process is going to evolve your soul in a way that you have never seen before. Um, and, and, but denial might also be sort of a challenge for you, I'm also hearing. You might sort of, you might try denying that you need to heal. And that's a normal process. Everyone goes through it. I go through it. But I think with this denial is going to come that awareness. The denial that if you deny that something is wrong for too long, it's going to build up. It's going to eat at you until you ultimately have to deal with it. But with creating this internal awareness of knowing what needs to be done, then you can say, I know what I need. I know what I want. And you can replace that fear with awareness and intuitive insight. So I think this, I think you're going to have to deal with your thoughts telling you that you don't need to deal with this, but it's going to be important for you too because it's going to evolve your soul in a way that you haven't seen before, like I said. So let me pull one more card. Okay, pile one. Oop, here we go. We have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. Zoom in. Is that showing? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm kind of at a weird angle, so I have to make sure that I'm actually showing the card and not just showing you like half of it or nothing at all. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely a confirmation that whatever you are going through, that whatever negative feelings or whatever harm or not harmful, but whatever challenges you are going through are going to be resolved by the end of the month, I say. Um, and again, cancer is represented, so you could have cancer in your chart or it could be a significant um, sign for you. But I really do feel like you are going to come, I feel like you're going to be better off than you were at the beginning of the month. Um, I feel like you are going to heal and you're going to enter into this new place of awareness that is going to bring you so much peace and understanding of your circumstances. And that's going to allow you to move forward. It's going to create a more structured security within yourself. And does that make any sense? <laughs> you're going to create more security within yourself. And you're going to be able to implement that knowledge into your life and things are going to start making more sense. You're going to gain the insight of awareness like this denial card says and you're going to feel more at peace. So overall for the month of October, I do feel like it's going to be a very healing month for you. And even though, like I said before, healing is not the most fun, it's not fun to go through healing journeys or work on shadow work. It's essential for us to grow as souls and not a lot of people um, do that. So once you gain the awareness to understand that it's important to heal your past hurts and the past in general, that is going to be a new awareness within yourself that's going to help you throughout your life. So yeah, that's all I have for you for the month of October. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, this is for those who picked pile number two and you guys chose this adorable cat, little Halloween cat. I have two of them <laughs> where I live right now, Onyx and Luna. And also I just burnt my fingernail um, lighting a candle so you know, it, it smells a little weird in here now, but that's perfectly fine. 
So in today's reading, we're going to be talking about what you can expect for the month of October, spooky season. <laughs> so we have this card that you selected, and I have other cards that I'm going to shuffle as well that we'll go over. So let's get started. The card that you got is Yemoja, goddess of the sea and mother of all. And if I am mispronouncing um, this name, please, please let me know in the comments. I looked up, I wanted to make sure I didn't pronounce her name wrong, but Google <laughs> sometimes isn't the most reliable. So just let me know because I'm definitely still learning. But she is the goddess of the sea and she is seen as a protector, especially in a lot of um, African cultures. And she is a protector. She is seen as a, as a goddess who can, who's like a mother to all. And I know I'm kind of reading off what I already said off the card, but she's a mother to all. She's a protector. She cares and comforts and basically how you would envision a mother. That's who she is. Now, when it comes to the month of October, though, I do think this is spirit, or if she resonates with you, then it's a sign from her. Um, but if not, then I think it's just a sign from spirit that you are being protected, that spiritual energies are definitely protecting you this month, and you are, you have a lot of comfort around you. Like, there is going to be very comforting energy and energy that's going to really help you and benefit you and protect you, nurture you like a mother. And also the sea and, or water could be very significant for you. So take it how it resonates. But you, overall, you are going to be very protected in the month of October. And I'm curious to see protected from what? <laughs> Um, but, or what else is going on at least, but I'll put this up here for now. There we go. And we will start off with the tarot, and this is the Nightmare Before Christmas Oracle deck, so spooky. And if you're curious about any of the decks I'm using, they will all be labeled in the description below. Um, and this is also the Moonlight Oracle, in case you're curious. Um, I recently purchased that and I love it. Okay, so let's get started. Pile 2. What can Pile 2 expect in the month of October? We got the Queen of Needles or the Queen of Swords. Pile, oops. Pile 2, month of October. What can Pile 2 expect in the month of October? We got the Five of Potions or the Five of Cups in the reverse. Pile 2. We got the Magician. And one more card. Pile 2. What can Pile 2 expect in the month of October? We got the Eight of Candles, or the Eight of Wands, in the reverse. Put these down here for now. Okay, I'll start off with those. So, when it comes to the month of October, I feel like this Queen of Swords or this Queen of Needles represents you. And it can be interpreted in many ways, the Queen of Swords. And I think it's going to apply differently to different people. So, on one hand, some of you might be in a very confident energy. You might be in this energy of um, knowing that you are protected with this Yemoja card 
and knowing that you are just knowing who you are, knowing that you are this powerful being and that nothing can stop you. But on the flip side, you might also be in this energy of being a little bit closed off and being a little bit cold, if that makes any sense, because the Queen of Swords can be kind of cold in nature. Um, she's very strong, she's very powerful, and this is not gender specific whatsoever, but the Queen of Swords is very strong and powerful, but can also be a little bit closed off, can be a little bit cold, and a little bit bra brash, brash, um, harsh, there, there's another word, but <laughs> that's how the Queen of Swords can be. And I feel like you are in this energy because you are overcoming a disappointment of some sort with this Five of um, Cups here, Five of Potions. Um, it seems like something happened in the past that um, really negatively impacted you. And so far I'm getting a lot of healing energies with the reading so far, so I'm kind of curious about those energies. Um, I mean, astrology-wise, Mercury's in retrograde in the month of October, I think halfway through it stops. Um, and like all the outer planets are in retrograde as well. So it is a very um, introspective, reflective time period um, for everyone right now. But I do feel like there is a sense of you moving on from some sort of disappointment in the past. Um, you or just moving on from some negative sort of feelings. You might be, if the um, cold, callous energy resonates with you, it might be that you're moving on from that. But if the more powerful, confident energy resonates with you, then it could be that you're just moving on from the past disappointment so you can get to this point. I feel like there are two different groups of people who are watching this and it's either one or the other. But no matter who you are, <laughs> we have this magician card and the magician is the manifester. The magician can create the reality that they want to create through their affirmations, through their thoughts, through um, their actions, their belief systems. They can manifest the reality that they want to create for themselves. So I think that you are realizing your true power and you're realizing your worth and the what you deserve in your life, what you need in your life. And sorry if you hear some random noises. My cat, who was also interrupting in the last video too, I think he sees a bug outside or something, so you might hear him trying to open the back door. He can't though, it's a twisty knob, but if it's a handle, he can do that. Um, that's fun. Anyway. <laughs> You are in this manifesting energy right now because you are realizing your worth and you're realizing your true potential or you're getting out of the cold energies and you're warming yourself up. You're allowing things to come to you. So you're realizing your power and what it is that you really, really want out of life, what you need, and ultimately with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, intuitively I'm kind of reading it as you're exiting all of this chaotic energy that you've been in, or if your mind has been a little bit chaotic, you're getting out of that mentality and you are just entering into a period that's going to be more peaceful for you, and I think that's why um, goddess Yamoja came up because it's a sign from the universe or her or spirit, whoever resonates with you, that you are going to be protected during this process. Like You are guided through this process. This is all a part of your journey and you are on the right path and you're being guided. Um, before I continue, astrology wise, zodiac sign wise, we have the air signs represented well, we actually have Libra represented with the Queen of Swords. Um, we also have the water signs, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh my goodness. 
Um, actually, with the magician, we have all the signs represented. Anyway, everyone's represented. You can be any sign. You can have any energy representing you. You know, doesn't matter. Moving on. <laughs> but you're moving out of these chaotic energies and you're realizing your power and your worth and who you are and who you are meant to become. So let's pull some more cards for you. So pile two, what can pile two expect in the month of October? What can pile two expect in the month of October? We have cuddling, which is the number one. And did you see that? Okay, cool. <laughs> and when it comes to numbers, I don't know if I went over this before, but um, Emoja has the number 39, which breaks down into 12, which then breaks down into 3, and then you have the number 1. So those could be significant numbers for you or significant dates in October other than the number 39. <laughs> so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. So I feel like it's interesting that the cuddling card came up here because with Yumoja, who is very much this mother figure, a comforting figure, I feel like you are going to find that sense of comfort. And also, I find it cool how um, the Venus sign is here, um, or the female symbol, which I think, which is all about like the feminine energies, which Yumoja definitely is. And it does now, obviously, like I said before, this reading is not gender specific. So we all have our divine masculines and our divine feminines. We have our feminine and masculine sides to us. And sometimes one is stronger than the other. It's not just because you are, have a stronger feminine side that doesn't necessarily mean you're a girl. Um, you know, the energies that we have within ourselves do not reflect in our physical genders. But anyway, <laughs> um, with this cuddling card here, you I think this is definitely a reminder that, or just a confirmation that you are going to be very comforted during this month. So during this process, um, you're not going to feel lost. You're not going to feel unsure or uncertain or scared. You are going to feel comforted. You're going to feel that higher power lifting you up and guiding you through this process. And you're going to feel more at peace and comforted. And just, you're going to feel that maternal energy that you, that the, that your moja represents. So let me make sure everything is actually in the frame before. Okay, everything's mostly in the frame, but anyway. Yeah, but anyway, you are, you're going to be comforted during this period. You're not going to feel lost or uncertain. You're going to feel very sure of where you're at and you're going to feel a sense of peace being where you're at. You're not going to feel scared. Like you are going to be very sure of yourself during this process. And you got security. Full we'll focus. Cool. And I'll pull one more card. Pile two. Okay, too many cards, but ah, okay. I feel called to take this one though. And this card is simplicity. So, in the month of October, you are going to, it could, this could be a representation of you enjoying, let me move this up a little bit, yeah, okay. And it could be a representation that you're going to enjoy, um, how, am I, how do I word this? Okay, yes, I feel like you're going to be in this energy where your mind is not cluttered, 
that things are going to appear way more, more simple than they actually are, or this manifestation process is going to be a lot more simple than you thought it was. You could have been trying to manifest for a while. You may really be into the law of attraction or even the law of assumption, and you may have been trying to manifest certain things into your life for a long time, but without but without any success and you might have been wondering why why can't I create this reality that I want for myself and I think in the month of October things are going to become very clear to you and you're going to be like oh this was way easier than I thought it would be that's cool um, <laughs> but I think that thing life is going to seem a lot more simpler to you now it's not going to seem as complex as you may have perceived it to be in the past um, which is really nice. Simple is nice. It really is. And with the security card here, you're going, literally, you are going to feel very secure in the month of October. I, hi Aries, my cat just meowed and I think that was a little confirmation for that statement. I'll just go for it. Um, but I think you're going to feel way more secure in the month of October. Like, you're going to, you're not going to feel all over the place. You're not going to feel unsettled or you're not going to feel that lack of comfort like you're going to feel the complete comfort you're going to feel very in place where you're meant to be you're not going to feel scared like the security card is really just a confirmation for that comfort and that stability um like you are not you're not going to feel out of place where you're at and you're not going to feel worried about possibilities and um, making the wrong decision. Like you're going to, you're going to be very secure and grounded. I feel like things are going to seem less complex to you, and the answers are going to seem a lot more simple. And you're going to feel very secure in the direction that you're going in during this process, which is really awesome to hear. Um, let's see what other cards I can pull for you. Pile two, we got adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So this could definitely be a confirmation that you have gone through something in the past that was very challenging or things may not have worked out in the way that you wanted them to in the past because of certain energies that were out of your control. And I feel like you're going to come into this energy of just acceptance and realization that you're on this path for a reason and I think that this these challenges are highly represented by this eight of um, wands here or the eight of candles um, I think that you are understanding why things happened and you're understanding that you are at this point where you're where you are for a good reason and that you don't that the things that happened in the past were there to benefit you even though and I'm not saying that in a light way because some things happen to us and there's no good explanation for them but I feel like regardless of that you're going to take what you have learned and you're going to realize that you have that you are becoming the person you're meant to be because of those things um, very similar things to pile one um, but also very different. So if you feel called to watch pile one, then go for it. Um, I haven't done pile three yet though, so I'm very I'm super curious to see. But yeah, you you seem to be taking the lessons that you've picked up on the, in the past and applying those and becoming the best version of yourself and creating the reality that you want to create. And let me pull one more card for pile two. Pile 2 October. What can Pile 2 expect in the month of October? What can Pile 2 expect in the month of October? You guys got Don't let the, Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Yeah. So, definitely a lot of past energies I'm feeling. So, yeah, this is definitely a confirmation from the universe that, or whoever you resonates with you, and sorry if you hear my cat meow, he's 
he's doing his thing, probably pre zoomy mode for all I know, but, um, you, this is a confirmation from whoever resonates with you, from spirit, universe, um, that you shouldn't let the past hold you back, quite literally. Um, you shouldn't let these past energies and these past challenges, this past chaos, to hold you back from achieving your true potential with this magician here. And you shouldn't let the previous energies that are not serving you currently be in your life. Oftentimes, it's really, oftentimes we keep the past energies in our life because they're what's familiar to us. And in a weird sort of messed up way, it can bring us comfort because it, we're, we're so used to it. But Spirit is really saying, do not let that hold you back. Do not let those thoughts of your past hold you back from achieving your true potential and achieving the security and, that you need. Um, it's really just telling you, don't let anything hold you back. Like you are this magician, you are this all-powerful creator, and you can create the reality that you want to create. Just do not let the challenges of the past, don't let the chaos of the past keep you from doing that. Open yourself up to the possibilities and release any sort of disappointment and hurt that has held you back and see how things unfold in your life and see what you can create with those energy with those past energies being gone or if not gone being accepted so that's all i have for you for the month of october thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys next time bye hi guys this is for those who chose pile number three welcome to your reading and you guys chose this little jack-o-lantern super super cute um, I'm really excited to put that up as a Halloween decoration for this year. Um, <laughs> anyway, so for this reading, we are going to be talking about what you can expect for the month of October. You selected this card, but we have other cards that we're going to use today as well, so let's get started. The card that you selected is Guan Yin goddess of compassion. Let me make sure that she's on the frame. She is. Now, Guan Yin is a bodhisattva um, in Buddhism. I am so sorry if I'm botching that pronunciation. Um, but she is a part of Buddhism, and she is the goddess of compassion. Um, they, the um, Buddhist religion sees her as a very, very compassionate goddess. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself there. But when it comes to your month of October, um, it could be that if she resonates with you in your practice, it could be that she is reminding you to be compassionate this month. Or it could just be if she doesn't resonate with you, which this is a general reading, it's going to be different for everyone. It could be that Spirit is telling you to be more compassionate whether that com whether that compassion is for yourself or for other people but there is this energy of needing to be compassionate and needing to be open and receptive and kind to yourself and others so yeah <laughs> it's so that's the energy that's surrounding this card i feel and it's just going to be, compassion is going to be a major, a major, major theme for you in the month of October. And I'm curious to see what else you can expect. Let me put her right here. And let's see what else we have. So this is the Nightmare Before Christmas or, or tarot deck. And I don't know if, I don't remember if I said this, but this is the Moonlight Oracle deck. Um, all the decks that I use today will be linked down in the description for you. So, Pile 3. What can Pile 3 expect in the month of October? Pile 3. What can Pile 3 expect in the month of October? Oops. Ah. 
pile three. What can pile three expect in the month of October? We have the four of swords or the four of needles. What else? Pile three. What can pile three expect in the month of October? We have the two of pentacles or the two of presents. Pile three. What can pile three expect in the month of October? Pile three October. Pile three October. We have the ten of wands. Yeah, the ten of wands or the ten of candles in the reverse. One more card. Oh, okay. Um, we have uh, too many cards came out there. Sorry, guys. Okay, pile three. One. Ah, I'm a messy shuffler, so I apologize for that. Pile three. What can pile three expect in the month of October? What can pile three expect in the month of October? The three of swords in the reverse. Put that over here and put these over here. So there is definitely some air energy represented. So Aquarius, um, Libra, and Gemini. Um, we have some fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and we have earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Sorry, my brain started wanting to turn off, but <laughs> in the middle of that, but I'm fine. Everything's fine. So those signs could resonate for you. They could be um, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, or they could just be the overall energies of the reading. Just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. So starting off with this four of swords over here, it looks like there, it looks like you are sort of in this contemplative period, if that makes any sense. Um, I find it interesting how you got the three and the four of swords. Um, ooh, two, three, four. Nice. <laughs> but it, I find it very interesting how that is the case. Sorry, I started blinking out again. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> it does seem like you are in this contemplative time period and you could have gone through some sort of hurt. And that's been sort of the theme for all the readings that I have done today, weirdly enough. So if any of the other readings call out to you, then feel free to watch them. But if not, then that's fine too. But there seems to be this universal theme, and I feel like a lot of it has to do with Mercury being in retrograde until mid-October, I think. Yeah, till mid-October, and also the outer planets being in retrograde as well. So, yeah, definitely a lot of healing sorts of energies, and I feel like in the month of October, there's this energy of you sort of being in that contemplative state where you're really... In your head you're thinking about a lot of things you're thinking about the past you're thinking about um, the hurts that you may have experienced in the past or especially with this three of swords right here um, you are really thinking about all that you have endured and you might be very in your head ab about it but I feel like by for some reason, intuitively, I'm thinking mid-October. By mid-October, I feel, I think that you are going to decide that you want to create a little bit more balance in your life, that you might have been a little bit too in your head to the point that you have been neglecting other aspects of your life or you just haven't really been, you haven't really been addressing the things that you need to address. But Overall, I feel like you are deciding that you want to 
have more balance. You want to create more balance in your life and um, kind of move on from this Four of Swords energy, which is very contemplative, which it's good. It's good to contemplate. It's good to think, but there's such a thing as thinking too much. And I feel like you're going to realize that and be like, okay, no more. This is not good for my mental health. It's not good for me in general. So I think you're going to decide that you want to create more balance and also focus on other aspects of your life that you want to focus on and that or that you need to focus on. And I feel like by coming to this realization with this ten of um, wands or this ten of candles here, that's going to release that burden of the thoughts in your mind. I feel like your thoughts and being way too much in your head is actually going to be a massive burden on you, on you. Um, which is why I feel like you might reach that point where you're like, okay, I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. You know, I'm done thinking about this. I'm done worrying about this. I'm just done. And I feel like once you come to that realization and make the conscious decision to be like, okay, let's move on. Let's focus on other things. That's going to release that weight off your shoulders and you're going to feel way more balanced and sure-footed of what you're doing. And I feel like deciding to move on from those energies is going to help you to heal and help you to let go of whatever it was that hurt you. And it easily could have been a breakup. Um, it could have been anything really. I'm hearing breakup for a lot of you, but you're deciding to heal and move on. And you're, that weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders and you're going to feel way more relaxed and at peace when you decide to do that, which is really awesome. And I feel like with um, Guan Yin, I feel like she came out because it's meant, she's meant to remind you of needing to be compassionate towards yourself during this period. Whenever we get into really negative thinking spaces or whenever we kind of get ourselves into a rut, it's easy for us to blame ourselves and to kind of critique ourselves over that. But Guan Yin or Spirit or the Universe is reminding you to be very compassionate towards yourself. This is definitely self-compassion, I'm feeling. Um, be compassionate towards yourself and don't, be, don't beat yourself up over getting into this rut. It happens to the best of us, but the actions you take to get out of it are what's important. So just be compassionate and don't stress too much over being in these energies because it's a process. So what other cards can we pull for Pile 3? Pile 3, October. What can Pile... Oops. We got Cuddling. And Pile 2 actually got this card as well. So... I find that very interesting. Um, so the numbers that I represented are 40, which breaks down to four, and one. So those could be significant numbers for you or significant dates. I mean, obviously not the number 40, but <laughs> significant numbers, significant dates, um, however that resonates with you. And moving on. <laughs> so when it comes to this cuddling card, um, you, I feel like it's more you need to comfort yourself. It's okay to comfort yourself. It's okay to reach out for support. And it's okay to allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. And again, be compassionate towards yourself and what you're going through. Um, not necessarily like a coddling yourself sort of thing, but like not babying yourself too much to the point that you're not really being productive because of it, but just giving yourself the comfort, you know, allowing yourself to be comforted because that's going to be very important for you during this month. Um, but yeah, definitely just allow yourself to comfort yourself, allow yourself to be compassionate towards yourself and take care of yourself for sure, because I feel like you definitely need that in your life. You definitely need those energies. Okay, pile three. Oop. 
we got protection. Which is a card that also came out in a previous reading, which is interesting. Pile 3. What can Pile 3 expect in the month of October? Pile 3. What can Pile 3 expect in the month of October? Embracing. So, again, um, protection came out in this pile as well, and um, that came out in pile two, so did cuddling. So pile two might resonate for you guys. Um, if you So feel free to watch that video if you feel called to it. But if not, then that's cool too. But yeah, I think this is, um, with the protection card here, I think this is just a reminder from Spirit that you are being protected during this process and that what you're going through is only a temporary thing and that these circumstances are not permanent. Um, so I think that even though these emotions might be a little bit challenging right now and even though these times might be a little bit challenging, you are protected during this process and you are going to be on the right path or you are, you're, you're working towards being on the right path is what I'm hearing. And when it comes to this, this embracing card, I feel like this is really spirit just saying that you need to allow yourself to embrace the situation. You don't have to necessarily like the hurt you're going through. No one likes being hurt. No one likes dealing with painful emotions. But it's going to be important for you to come to a place of acceptance, which is going to allow you to heal and is going to really push forth that healing process that you need to be on. Um, because what I feel like is going on is you might be, you might be rationalizing your feelings too much and you may not be genuinely dealing with those feelings and healing from them. So I feel like spirit is really just telling you, allow yourself to heal, accept the situation for what it is and allow yourself to move forward and deal with those emotions as they come. So don't neglect the emotions that are going to come from this, but just allow them to occur because oftentimes what can happen is we don't deal with our emotions because their emotions can be really hard to deal with and we allow them to build up over time and it gets to a point where it boils over and we have to deal with those energies. We have to deal with these emotions but exemplified so it's important for you to embrace these emotions now and to accept these emotions now so that they won't impact you as hard later on um, just deal with the emotions up front that's what i'm really hearing and that you're going to be protected during this process and that's why it's going to be important for you to have a lot of compassion towards yourself during this cycle and let me pull another card i'm yeah, like I said before, the last three piles have been, have involved a lot of healing energy, which I, too many cards, sorry guys. Yeah, a lot of healing energy, but healing is good. Healing is great. Just not fun to go through in the moment. But pile three, what can pile three expect for the month of October? What can pile three expect for the month of October? Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, so I definitely feel like there was a loss of something like a relationship or maybe even a job or um, the loss of an opportunity maybe. But I feel like this lesson is meant to teach you more to appreciate what you have and appreciate the experiences that you gained from what you had and use those experiences to move you forward in the future like 
for just not saying every this I'm not saying this is just a relationship, but I'm just using it as an example. Oftentimes when we're in relationships, we have good times and bad times. And we break up because of bad times, but it can be hard to move on because we think about the good times. And or we keep holding on to resentment because we're only thinking about the bad times. But in the grand scheme of things, a lot of things are neutral. They just are. Everything has its good and bad. Everyone has their good side and their bad side. And I feel like it I feel like it might it's sometimes hard to move on because we think about one or the other and we ex exemplify those energies in our head. But I think spirit is and that's just an example. That's just the relationship example, but this could apply to you in multiple different ways. But with this grief card here, I feel like spirit is really asking you to understand why things happened the way that they did. And to not hold on to all of these ideas in our head that are keeping us from moving on. Um, and just understand that everything happens for a reason. And that reason is ultimately meant to benefit us in the future. And even if a lot of good things happened during whatever it was that you have to let go of, they just, they're memories at this point. You have to focus on your present. You have to focus on creating your a happy future for yourself and appreciate the good times, but don't let them hinder you from having more good times is what I'm really getting at. And that's way easier said than done. Grief is a whole process. I mean, there is literally... There are literally the stages of grief that people go through, and it's a process, but it's going to be very important for you to work towards that energy of acceptance and allow, you, allow yourself to understand that things are what they are and that everything is going to happen for a reason, and that reason is meant to help you and, or benefit you in the future because there's always going to be something better around the corner. So let me pull one more card for this reading. Let's see, pile three. What can pile three expect in the month of October? What can pile three expect in the month of October? What can pile three expect in the month of October? Too many cards. <laughs> okay. What can Pile 3 expect in the month of October? And I feel called to pull two cards for you guys. Let's see. We have, it's a time to take action. New Moon and Aries. And we have, adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Let me make sure there's enough room over here. Ugh. Okay. Sorry, I just had to make sure everything was lined up um, to where you could see everything. Um, or most everything, and that required way more moving around than I thought it would. But when I see the this adjustments are required card, I really think that has to do with your mentality, and I think it has to do with this four of swords. Um, I feel like there might be a lot of what's the word? Not necessarily pessimism, but just self-deprecating thoughts being way too much in your head to where you're kind of thinking about things negatively. So I really think that this adjustments card is more of a message that you really need to change your mentality and change your thought process um, with this whole um, cycle. So 
definitely change your mentality, change the way you look at things. That's going to be very important for your healing and your growth. And with this um, new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. I think this is spirit really confirming with you that it, the, that you need to start this process, basically. That it's going to be important for you to take action immediately and to start this healing process immediately because, like I said before, when we hold on to those negative emotions and we don't allow ourselves to heal, those emotions and that hurt can bubble up over time and then boil over. And it's better to deal with this these kind of, kinds of things now than later on. So I think spirit is really just telling you that it's going to be important for you to really start this process and not delay it because delaying it is only going to make things worse. And you want to get into this energy of healing. You want to be, be at, in this energy of acceptance of, of what you have lost. But you have to really work, start working towards that now or not hold off on that process um, because otherwise you're going to really just delay the process and that's not going to be good for your, your overall health. Um, but you really, it's going to be important for you to change your mentality during this process and allow yourself to go through the stages of this grief, whatever kind of grief it is. And I feel like you're going to come out of this feeling way more at peace as long as you just allow yourself to be compassionate and to be kind to yourself during this period because it's it's a process it really is and we oftentimes will fall into setbacks but those setbacks are just part of the process and we have to be kind to ourselves and allow ourselves to go through the motions the way that we need to so that's all i have for you in this reading um i know it's kind of heavy it's kind of heavier energy but it is, I feel, I don't want to sugarcoat my readings in any way, so I just wanted to get that message out there. But if you resonated with this reading or if you felt called to this reading and um, it inspired you in any sort of way, um, I really hope it did, honestly. Um, but thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.